Okay, the name of this story is Who Sank the Boat by Pamela Allen. Beside the sea on Mr. Pepper's place, there lived a cow, a donkey, a sheep, a pig, and a tiny little mouse. They were good friends, and one warm sunny morning, for no particular reason, they decided to go for a row in the bay. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the cow who almost fell in when she tilted the boat and made such a din? No, it wasn't the cow who almost fell in. Do you know who sank the boat? The cow. Was it the donkey who balanced her weight, who yelled, I'll get him at the bow before it's too late? No, it wasn't the donkey who balanced her weight. Do you know who sank the boat? Pig. Can you guess the pig? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Was it the pig as fat as butter who stepped in at the side and caused a great flutter? It's all of them. It's all of them. We'll see. No, it wasn't the pig as fat as butter. Do you know who sank the boat? The monkey. The monkey? Well, let's read and see. Let's read and see. Was it the sheep who knew where to sit to level the boat so that she could knit? No, it wasn't the sheep who knew where to sit. Do you know who sank the boat? The mouse. The mouse. The mouse. Let's see. What happened? Do you remember? Pretend like I'm the seesaw and somebody heavy got on it. What happened to me? If I was heavy, where would I go? I would go down. And what would happen to the person that was lighter? Go up. They would go up. That's what would happen. Well, we're going to do that today. We're going to practice. We're going to put some weight on our balance beam. And we're going to see what will sink the boat. And we're going to see, see what will go up. Okay? And sometimes we'll be nice and equal. We'll be even. Okay? So everybody show me equal. Show me even. That means we'd be balanced, right? And this is another way to show that we're equal. Like this. Okay? Do the equal dance. Okay? Balanced. Equal. Balanced. Now, unbalanced. Why did it go down, Gigi? Because um, it's bigger than the number six. Right. Eight is bigger than the number six. You're going to look at your bean and start on the left-hand side. You would say eight is less than ten, or eight is lighter than ten. And you can tell because why? Because it's higher. It's higher, right? It's up in the air. It's lighter. So eight is less than ten, and ten is greater than eight. It's heavier or it's bigger. So four is greater than one. So how many dots would four get? Two. 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 How many dots would one get? One. Seven plus five plus three. Seven plus three plus four. When introducing addition and subtraction using the mathematical balance, avoid overusing the term equals. Use phrases like, how much is 3 plus 4, or what is left if you subtract 3 from 5. Use addition and subtraction sentences with the answer on the left sometimes and on the right at other times. Continue simple comparing and addition activities with the students until they begin predicting the outcomes correctly verifying them on the mathematical balance. This is a cue that students are ready to move to more challenging problems or concepts. <laughs>